Djokovic. Slightly strange header from Lavelle Palmer that fell to him, but first time played it across the box. Finley wasn't quite able to get onto things. Some statistic would bear that out. 60 40 in favour of the team in Rave Green. Vukovic looking for Renteria. Well, you look at that statistic, Columbus Crew, the lowest scorers away from home this season. Just two before. Hang on, confidence on the ball. Now they're 1 0 up. You can see that confidence just building once they got that goal. Vukovic might try one here. Meredith doesn't have to make the save, but the fullback coming forwards. That's a rare yeah. fire opportunity for them. That man, Justin Miram. Montero's corner. Eddie Johnson going up, headed away by Josh Williams. And the man, Vukovic, has nobody anywhere near halfway. Now Renteria makes a move. Another great turnout from the Ray Green. 38,311 as a 58th consecutive. Jeff Gamble, the referee, not had too much to do this evening. Nice skills by Vukovic. Vukovic. Vukovic ahead of him. Zach Scott in the way from Romania Vukovic. Well, if you missed any portion of this match, oh, you Target and it's in. It's a free hitter up by Castillo. We play in more, more direct, and I think, you know, uh, we, we, we have a very unlucky to give up that goal in the first half, so hopefully, we're going to. Ball in front! The crew find themselves right on the doorstep, and what a great attack it was. Yeah, Merrim did well to read. Which has run Eddie Gavin dumbing it so well and Renteria just getting it caught under his feet and has to do better on that occasion because that's a good ball, a great dummy from Gavin and Renteria with the left hand. Listen, you could put Donington in goal, he'd probably be outstanding. He, he, he's that Let's good player. Cover that. It's all about his end product. It's all about giving you something. For Diego Chara, can't get inside of Vukovic. He gets 
gets his clearance away up the field. Now Finley has got a lot of speed. Maybe some kind of cooling cord there. Not that you do that kind of stuff when you no, play, of course. No, of course. He's 20, 25 yards from goal. Vukovic now the left back. It's in the cross. Knocked down. Off the line by Chabala. Jewsbury helps it behind. Got his body in there first. And Jack Jewsbury does the rest. Leads to danger. And as soon as it falls, not quite caught by Nusevich, but it... Eight minutes plus stoppage time remaining. And for Anur. Again, this is a game the Tibbers desperately would like to win. Oh, yes. They crossed the halfway line. You see Vancouver already. They really do have a strong defensive shape. They sit back in there, and they're a good counter-attack team with guys like Sebastian and two. So the crew will need to get wide, switch the point of attack, and break that down. Here's an opportunity in the second minute of the play. Shelf for Vukovic. Jogs back into position. You see the corner again, just swung in, and Gives the crowd a wow, that one, but that's a wasted opportunity with the big men from the Columbus crew coming forward, which we've talked about before. So sold alive. Robert Barziha wants his team to score that goal. He's said it so many times. The start for him is so important in that first goal, and one of these set pieces could be the key. Ball on its way. Deep backside. And into the sixth place to the Crossbar by Williams. Josh Williams. You we'll see it again. That's a better corner. That's rehearsed. Chad Marshall back across and Williams. I mean, holy. What a strike. You see a better angle here. And, oh boy. That takes a lot of athleticism. O'Rourke pings one left side. It's a good ball. Vukovic for Gavin. His timing's a little off at the moment. But. He does connect with the ball. Going to be away. Give him a two ball for Gavin. For Vukovic. There's the shot for Gavin. Just to get some fingertips on that and pushing it wide. Those are tough ones to deal with on a slippery surface. <laughs> Runs, but as of yet, his teammates haven't been able to get him the right ball. Otherwise, kept in check. Yeah, no, nice job of keeping him. And I think the key to that is good position by the crew. Hard back to Davidson. Into the box. Covered there by Vukovic, who had pinched in. By Salgado. Into the left side of the box. He's got help at the back post! That one over his crossbar because that in the end could have gone everywhere off a beautiful run from Salgado. And that's hit him in the shin and gone over the bar. Positioning very good. Maybe the touch a little lucky, but Houston at the break. Osley on the move. Vukovic. Kick to the ground. And right in front of the referees for the crew you'll see next. Flying out to Portland is a tough place to play with that lead. Well, speaking of Lee, YP Lee, he was the one that tucked the free kick into the corner. And cut off by Ursa. Look at him. Plays into the box. So work is up there. Goes after the ball. Knocked out. Looking for the keeper. And pressure in off the far side. Moffitt with the clearing touch. Kept alive. And lobbed a little bit high and just a touch back. Two corners in as many minutes. And that is Vukovic, 
Rips that ball in. Schoenfeld leaves it for Gavin! 2 1! <laughs> look at the ball from Booker, but Schoenfeld doing so well to lay down the left foot of Gavin. And that is a thunderbolt. Oh, wow. When that leaves the spot, <laughs> Telly Hall is, I don't think he even sees it. It just rips right by him. Gavin really getting every single piece of that. 2-1 Columbus, all three goals scored in the second half. The first was finished by Will Bruin for the Dynamo. Vukovic. Kind of a very strong match on the attack. Does good work. He's really brought that to the midfield. Wide open on the weak side. The crew find it. Ball in the box. Cut to the right shoe. Still time. Renteria redirects wide, and I think that was the wrong decision. He could have whipped it across, possibly, and that's a good ball from Vargas to get things started. And he has a good touch forward, cuts back after maybe could have playing it, and, you know, it's not the worst ball in the world, but it is a pretty tight situation to put Emilio in. You want him to hit target, you want him to do better there, but that's not easy when you've got pressure coming both sides of the ball. So maybe Vukovic... Where it's almost been a two-thirds field for them. They haven't had to worry about the back end. And then against Chivas last week, they really had to pour it on late just to get the draw. Well, I think we saw it just from the get-go here. Vukovic from his left-back spot. Steps up to Montenegrin. An overlapping run by Medeshore. And he's cut off on you. Vukovic. And they're going to try a run at him again. And Vukovic there. Quick's going to have some serious power. And this is a tricky week for the Quakes. We pointed out a three-game week for the Earthquakes. Go into some hostile environments and have to perform. And now it's up to the Quakes. They're going to have to change the pace of this match as the ball comes to the left back. And Vukovic chips one into the middle. Dilly Duka. 2-1 your score. Ball played in, backside, keeper deflected it away as Johnson able to get his extended right hand on the ball. And it was enough. Gary to the backside for Vukovic. Neatly collects, fakes, wants to shoot, does save! Oh, Williams thought about the bicycle but just couldn't get his body organized to do so. Yeah, unfortunately he had that in his mind if he just laid that one back to Gary. See it again, that's a great service from Vukovic. Good little touch from Johnson. And then you see Gehrig out to it quick. And then Vukovic again with a good strike, good save.